Well, hey everybody, Backyard Scrapping here, and welcome to part six, which I had originally actually planned to be uh, the last stage or the last video of this series, but it ain't going to happen. Uh, we are now, uh, I just came out this morning, and I'm continuing to filter this off. I want you to see if you can see in here. I don't know if you can see that drip coming out. All right, that's as fast as it goes right there that's high speed and that's when the funnels full when the funnel gets halfway down it goes even slower so basically where we are right now we still got about 200 milliliters left to do the original first filter there is some stuff in here uh, oh and by the way this is now day six on filtering I mean this stuff is I don't know that's what was on the bottom. I actually didn't, because I was going to filter it in these coffee filters, so I did not siphon this off. But it's actually rolled up into like a little, I mean, if I stir it up, stir it, if I stir it up, you know, it'll break back up loose. But it actually kind of rolled up. It's like a very fine, I don't know, some kind of a powder. But it actually kind of rolled up there in the bottom. You can see it in that corner. Um, these are a couple more of the... Uh, rinse water jars from the first filterings and those papers that is our rinse waters still reducing I've just got them on very low heat because most of my beakers are tied up and I'm having to use these jars and I don't want to take a chance on breaking the bottoms out of those jars but we are uh, I would say about halfway done reducing our rinse waters and our first rinse or our second rinse acid uh, we got this fluid off of those and that's done so this is where we're at right now um, until I get this finished filtered and see you know if I'm going to be able to draw it through the the number threes or the 103s with the vacuum I'm just doing this um, we still have our other chips to do um, but I'm, being that this is stalled the way it is I'm just taking advantage of this and catching up on some honeydew stuff so Anyhow, uh, as soon as we get this filtered off, we'll move up into the next stage, which will be filtering it again and uh, cleaning up that little bit of stuff up there from the backs and from the first acid rinse. So I just wanted to tell you where we are and that we will get back at you guys uh, in a bit. Well, okay, everybody, we are back out in the lab finally. Um, we actually got uh, all of our, well, not all of our honeydew chores done, but uh, quite a bit of them. And then, as you saw earlier, I had a hot water heater problem. I actually had to run some new wiring and uh, had to run some wiring outside the house to move our internet box because we've been having problems with our internet. And it had to be moved from where it was over here which was another ordeal I mean it's four screws and a uh, you know and a wire and it you know five trips out here and it was just I mean I guess COVID has made uh, you know big business totally incompetent I don't know but I mean I could have moved the thing in an hour and it took them three weeks and five trips but anyhow neither here nor there everything's done uh, we're working on this right now I'm actually filtering off a little bit more of the water uh, I'm gonna burn all of these filters I've got a couple filters over here from this stuff uh, the filters that we're doing now I'm just gonna burn all those and uh, see if we get anything out of them but we are gonna filter that off again filter that off again filter this off again and then we're gonna get down on it and see what kind of gold we get out of this stuff so uh, I mean, we're looking between, I'm guesstimating somewhere between four and six grams. I don't know exactly because, like I said, this was my first experience with the aluminum wires. So my ratios that I usually normally use to figure uh, may not be so accurate right now. So, but anyway, four to six grams somewhere in there, I'm hoping, you know, six as a plus, four as a hoop, <laughs> but somewhere in that range. So let me get this stuff filtered off. Uh, it's still another couple more hours of doing that. And then we're going to get this stuff in several different beakers and get it dropped. So we'll be back at you in a bit. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop in for a second and show you um, 
this is our I think we've got some lead probably some lead chloride in there um, settling out but you can see how hazy this beaker solution is versus what's going through um, this is actually our second technically our third filter but this is our second filtering of this solution through that filter and you can see that we are getting a nice clean clear solution so we're getting all that crap out of there um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this other stuff filtered off again like I said these two and what I think I'm going to end up doing is just splitting the solution between these two big flasks and uh, doing our drop that way because we still probably have to add a couple thousand mils of uh, distilled water to this. So once we get everything neutraled out and get it where it's coming through clear like that, which that you won't be able to see because it's just too dark, but when it's that clean, then we'll do our drop. So I just wanted to show you that we are getting that crap out. You can see the difference between those two right there. That, uh, pretty pretty big difference between the two. So anyway, I'm going to continue doing that. Um, I'm working on some other stuff over here cleaning up. Um, but anywho, we'll get back at you all in a bit. Okay, guys, we are still in the process of filtering this off. Uh, it has slowed down quite a bit once again um, I did get our rinse acid filtered uh, I do want to do a test real quick to show you that there is not tons of gold in this this is mostly iron and hydrochloric acid and that iron gives it that uh, that you know gold looking color but I'm gonna put some in here real quick and just show you that we may have a trace of gold in this so what I'm going to actually do, but you see we've got pretty much, you know, just a clear reaction. And like I said, there may be a trace of gold in it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, warm it up a little bit. I'm going to denox it, uh, make sure that all the nitric is gone. I'm going to put a little bit more, uh, probably another five, 600 mils of uh, distilled water in it. And then I'm going to hammer it with uh, sodium metabisulfite so that if there is anything in there, we can get it to drop out. Uh, I don't expect even just maybe, a, maybe if we're lucky, a dusting. But most of that, is, that coloring is going to be from the iron. So I wanted to show you where we were. <coughs> Excuse me. We're still uh, slowly but surely filtering this, even though it has settled and whatever it is. Uh, you can see it is kind of stopping up the filter a little bit but let me get this stuff I just didn't want to mix these two I didn't see any point in adding all that extra acid to this you know and possibly causing a problem so we're gonna finish filtering this off and uh, we're gonna drop that separately and like I said I'll just hammer that so we'll get back at you guys in a bit all right guys I'm just popping back in for a second uh, as you can see we are Probably we've probably run a thousand mils through this uh, 103 filter and we have basically gotten down to a drip again Which is actually good because what's coming out of there should be clean But uh, we still have 1500 mils over there left and about 450 in this beat left to filter So we are going to be here for a while doing this um, uh, I did I, I, I try to read and answer as many comments as I can and acknowledge you when you come up with some good ideas. I apologize for this. I don't know I don't remember exactly who it was that said it about putting the paper towels in a, a blender and using that for a, a, like to catch the fine stuff ahead of the filter. Um, I actually I, I'm going to do that next time. I actually didn't do it this time simply because this stuff. Uh, has already been filtered off once um, it has uh, settled I've even let it settle because while I was having to do other things it just sat here settling and we are still having this this uh, fine whatever this stuff is that's in here clogging up the filters I mean you can see it's just barely going and it's under full vacuum so there are things that I am going to do next time. Um, I'm actually in the process of doing a couple other things over on the other bench. So it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to you know, go through all that right now just to finish this. 
We have a thousand milliliters filtered, good and clean, already in here. Um, I'm not seeing any crap in that. So I'm just going to continue on that way. But I do thank you for that tip. Uh, I am an old dog, but I can learn some new tricks. Also, one other thing I'm going to do that I kind of did different this time is uh, I actually put these in the oven to clean them, to burn them. And normally I do that with a torch. And I do believe next time I will use the torch. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do the oven. I don't think the oven did a good a job at, of burning whatever some of this stuff is off. Um, so it's got to be some kind of a glue. Uh, I, I'm not, it, you know, it just doesn't look like a metal. Like I said, I'm going to, because uh, it rolls up. It ro actually rolls up in the bottom of the beaker like, uh, like, paste or plastic wood it's not acting like a, a like silver chloride would act or or something else it's 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 definitely I don't believe a metal so anyway I'm going to continue on uh, I have an off-camera project over on the other bench going um, when this filters it'll be filtered I like I said I'm going to hit that in a few more minutes when it gets good and warm uh, with some sodium metabisulfite see if we can get a dusting out of it and uh, we're just going to continue on with this. This has just been a long process, you know, between whatever this crap is in it and uh, the stuff interrupting me. It's just been a long refine. It, you know, it's taken way longer than it should have. So I'm going to get back to you. I'm not going to come in anymore. I know I always say that, but I'm not going to come in anymore until I'm actually going to drop that beaker or attempt to drop to see if we can get anything out of that at all. But that's mostly just iron and hydrochloric acid. Alrighty guys, so we'll get back to you when we're going to work on that. Okay guys, I actually uh, let this warm up pretty good. I've added some distilled water. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and add far more. Uh, I denoxed it. I didn't get any reaction. I didn't expect to get much because it's going to be mostly uh, you know, hydrochloric. Um, so. I got way, way, way more sodium metabisulfite than I need here. I don't think there's much of a reaction that's going to happen, uh, but I figured I'd bring you guys along anyway just in case. So we're just going to stir this up for a few minutes or a minute. Then we're just going to put a cap on this booger and let it set and see if we can force any any gold out of this solution. But like I said, there's very, very, very little. It's mostly going to be iron. This was rinse. Um, the concentrated stuff is all over in the other flasks. I did see a slight, I don't know if you picked it up on camera, I did see a slight color change. So we may force a little out of here. We'll see. That's it. Like I said, most of that's probably iron. So we'll just leave that be, see what happens. Tomorrow, if we've got some gold in there, we will fish it out. And in the meantime, we're going to continue filtering over here. So we will be back at you when we do the big drop, which unfortunately because it's so dark you probably won't see much happening with that one either. But anyhow, we'll get back to you when we're going to do that. Okay everybody, I am currently running the last little bit of uh, rinse water through the filter. Um, we've got, looks like about, oh close to 2800 milliliters here of uh, fluid. It finally finished <laughs> filtering. I'll tell you what, I don't know about that. Now, if I ever see those aluminum wires again, I'm going to do a lot of things different than the way I did it this time. Uh, I'm going to burn them off better. I'm just going to do some things different. 
because apparently, I mean, I've had it. I've I've had good luck, and I haven't had any problems like this ever. But now, also, I have noticed uh, a couple people said in the comments that they have run into this problem as well. So at least I know it's not just me or something I did that it does on occasion happen. Um, I'm going to let that filter through. I'm going to let this get a little bit warmer. It's pretty warm now, but I'm going to let it get a little bit more warmer because I'm going to, um, I'm actually going to denox this with sulfamic acid because I know there's a lot of crap in it. And I may end up having to filter it again. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But anyhow, let me go ahead and let that warm up, get this last bit filtered off, go get me some sulfamic acid, and we're going to denox this stuff and get it ready to drop. So we'll be right back at you. Hey guys, I'm just popping in for a second to show you something. I'm uh, really beginning to wonder how distilled some of this water is that we're buying, or that I'm buying that's supposed to be distilled water. I don't know how well you can see that down in there, but this is just from rinsing this beaker, and uh, look at all that stuff that precipitated out of that from just putting supposedly distilled water in there. Now, I don't know what that is exactly. Uh, I know it's an awful lot of crap just to be in that, you know, from rinsing the sides of this off. And I know there's a lot of crap in that solution, but I've run into this problem before using my well water because, you know, it's not Distilled water is supposed to be pure water. I mean, there's not supposed to be anything in it. So it's supposed to be like kind of neutral. But this is what my well water does. So I'm wondering if part of my problem isn't this distilled water that I'm buying. So I'm going to try some from a different company and uh, see if there's any difference next time. But I don't know what that is that's dropping out of there, but it did it from the water so maybe this distilled water isn't all that distilled alright I just wanted to show you that this is almost warm enough uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready and uh, go ahead and see if we can't denox this and get it ready to go so I've got my sulfamic acid I think it's warm enough I may let it go another let it get just a little bit warmer so let me let me give it a few more minutes and we'll be right back at you okay guys we added uh, that last of that filtrate to here so we're at about 3200 3250 milliliters um, it feels you know pretty warm so I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this in and see what the heck happens here see if we get any kind of a reaction Looks like we got a little bit. It's very hard to tell when you have a dirty solution like this because you can't really, you know, the only thing you can go by is the top. You can't really see the, you know, any bubbles or, you know, or not bubbles, but anything going on inside. Let me shake this up again and put a little bit more to it. I don't want to wham bam it. I'm not seeing too much reaction. We have a lot of hydrochloric in here. We didn't, you know, we might we may have used up most of our nitric, which it looks like we have because I'm not really seeing too much of a reaction. I'm going to let it go for a bit more. And then uh, we're going to split this between two of these two jugs, between these two flasks. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do our drop, which, like I said, it's not going to be much to see because of the color of the solution. So I'll get back at you when we've got this ready to drop. 
Okay guys, like I said, I don't expect to see a lot of reaction. Um, we're going to over use way more than we need, but uh, let's go ahead and do this first one and see what happens. Getting a little bit of a color change. This is good. Well, we got somewhat of a color change. Comparatively speaking, you can see the difference between the two, but like I said, it's not really not really easy to see because the solution is so dark. So we are just going to rinse the edges down on that and let this booger go until tomorrow. Let me get the other one going. And we are going to re-refine this, so... I'm not overly concerned with dropping out any extra other metals because it will have to be re-refined because this is actually a quite dirty drop. that down Let's see what we got going on here okay guys um, we're probably just going to wrap this video up for right now uh, because all this stuff has got to do is sit now and uh, then we'll get back into uh, cleaning this up and seeing what we got out of it so guys I know this has been a little bit boring <laughs> but that's just how it is sometimes alrighty guys Everybody take care, stay safe out there, and we will see you all in the next video.